you going? What's going? Good to see you, yeah, mate. Same, mate. You well? How you feeling? Not too bad, Jack. Good. Yeah. Perfect show, though. Jesus, oh, I'm yeah. absolutely stinking. With initially meant to come out in the uh, start of July last year, and COVID being an issue, um, kind of pushed it back and then delayed the season, so I ended up waiting, waiting at home, committing to Bale last year. Um, but yeah, I guess just to, to like that it did work out the way it did, um, to get another year with Mayo and then to get out here and, and see how things go. Um, yeah, it's great, great to finally get over here. I'm just excited for it, um, being shown around the place. It's, the facilities is unbelievable, um, getting to meet a few of the boys and stuff like that. The, the culture of the spot just from the, the instant first coming in the front door, the, how welcome I felt was, was just it was great, very settling. Down at Stag and Dingle and then obviously um, Mark being from Dingle um, was allowed to, to go home in the off season and play for Dingle GA in um, their club championship. So a few of the boys had travelled over and went supporting them so they happened to be in Paul Ganey's pub the same night as, as we were down for the Stag. Um, so met, met a few of them randomly enough and um, yeah they were just from the start the boys were very friendly. Um, seemed like such a great bunch and good advocate for the, the culture that was here and whatnot. So you go to the MCG, man, it's another 20 metres wider. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. So ours is actually a long and narrow ground. Yeah. And the G's 100,000, this will be 40,000. That's crazy. So the G, we had 101,000 on grand final day. Yeah. So uh, the, the two boys are just, um, they, they, all they said was, was good things about the club. They spoke very highly about the culture and um, just how everyone's so welcome in the club and help making the transition a bit more easy than then um, it, sh it should be um, because it's it's difficult moving as you move to another country, um, different culture, different sport. Um, there's nothing nothing simple about it, but the lads have been very reassuring and, and helpful in in the transition of it all. So when Mark O'Connor first turned up, the first two weeks he had to carry a flag around with him. So you can carry it everywhere you went, you just got this comfortable, like you yeah. like this. You just walk around, you just walk around this <laughs> two weeks away. <laughs> After Christmas it'll be fine, but if you yeah. carry this around for two weeks, everyone will look like none of you are. And <laughs> the attributes can be transferred over. Um, just it's the games in comparison are similar enough. Obviously, it's been seen in the international rules series previously, like the, the similarities of the games, but um, yeah, just the transition of the athletic ability and stuff just kind of. Um, just get on top of learning the game and, and the, the, obviously the difference in the ball is the oval, it's not the same as kicking and kicking around ball, but it's actually always there, like it is kicking ability, like it, it, the transition can, can happen, like in Mark as well and Rachel. Um, so yeah, just building the Irish contingency here in Geelong. Um, good, waving the flag. Where they gave me the tour around, um, see the facilities and, and meet a few of the people um, going through, but yeah, it's just at the spots, it's amazing from, from first reaction of it, um, like the, the stand, the gym, the war rooms, the change rooms, everything, it's just it's top class.